Ah, no flashy moves today, fellas. This place is actually quite muddy. I don't want to, you know, do a little zoom and fall on my ass over here before I even get the fishing started, right? All right, let's get this video started. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shane here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. So, if you guys watched and checked the last video here on the YouTube channel, you guys saw that I went to my local lake, Lake Luxembourg, where I tested my new Daiwa Kage ultralight rod, right? Which cost me pretty much $200 after shipping. We did a wonderful fishing session over there. Um, I ended up landing my first fall stock trout of the season, as you guys saw in that video. But you see, nowadays, 2020, Leo Shang is always a little bit skeptical when it comes to testing new products in the market, right? Products that I have never used before. So I am a true believer that one fishing session is just not enough to test and determine how good a fishing rod is. That's why today, for a change of scenery, I came here to my local creek. We got right here the Penny Pack creek right you guys are way too familiar with this particular one because i come fishing here all the time i'm going to be hopping a few holes over here and the main objective obviously is to further test the cog right in this youtube video and as a secondary objective supposedly the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocked this creek last week right from the 12th to the 17th in between right so we're going to find out after hopping a few holes and hitting a few different spots uh, we're going to pretty much do a little trout assessment and see how good how hot the action for the fall stockings here from the penny patrick are right is after one week from the stocking date okay so let's get this fishing session started man and hopefully i'm going to catch my limit of three today right and bring it back for dinner for the family Wish me luck. Let's get cranky. I brought with me today an arsenal of different fishing lures. The spoons, the spinners, jigs, soft plastics. But you know what? To start the day, I am going to run the Thomas EP series, right? One of my favorite spinners. And it is really going to be a very similar approach as the previous video hopping holes casting everywhere covering a lot of water and there is actually a reason why i prefer to choose the inline spinner right over all others well you could choose a cast master as well or some other type of metal it is very good for you to tie one of these to begin the day because as you cast out there sometimes you see the fish following your lure so first thing that i want to do is establish the presence of the stock trout here in the creek. I want to know that at least there's a fish out there. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? You see, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission never really tells you how many trout they stock during the season, right, for a particular body of water. They only tell you when they're going to stock it and where. I've been casting over here for the last 10 minutes, covering water, and I haven't seen a single trout yet, like not even a follow. This entire spot, which is usually productive, is actually dead. It is about time for me to move spots. This is only the first spot of the day, but I mean, who knows? Maybe they didn't stock this portion of the creek. Maybe the weekend fishing pressure was so high, people took it all from this hole. I don't know. We'll keep exploring and see what happens. You know, folks, every time things get tough in this creek, you guys know it. If you watch the videos here on the YouTube channel, check it out, huh? There's always the upper stream honey hole. So let's give it maybe 10, 15 minutes over here and uh, see if actually they stock this place or not. All right, that is what's up. We're gonna come down over here real quick. That is my rock right over there. Let's step right on that. Oh, 
fish on. Oh yeah. Swipe right in front of me too. So I need to kind of make this guy a little bit tired. Eight circle right in front of me. But boy, oh yeah. See that? I don't need to be gentle with these today because these are going to be dinner. But swiped it nicely on the EP series. Oh yeah, there we go. First fish of the day. Not a bad size either, fellas. Not a bad size either. Let me clean the lenses a little bit just in case it is wet. Mmm, really wanted that EP series. Not bad, fellas, huh? Not bad. After five minutes, right here at the spot, first fish of the day, we got ourselves dinner. Same disclaimer as in the last video, all the fish over here are stocked trout. No natives, no wild, catch and take fishery. You know what? I want to shoot this as catch, but I am really afraid people are going to come over and start casting here because some people down there saw that there's fish here. Right back to filming. Let's catch some more before this is over. All right. Let's catch a few more before those anglers down there come here because that's what usually happens. People see you catch fish. People see fish is wiping your lure. And next thing you know, man, they hop to your spot. They don't care. There's definitely fish in this hole, man. Fish on. Fish on. Second, second trout of the day coming up. All right, easy, 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 easy. Oh, yeah, good dinner. Good dinner right here, boys. Good dinner right there. Swimming to the right now. Oh, yeah, nice size for stock trout for this particular creek. All right, let me let me bring it in here real quick here. Oh, oh yeah, right on my foot and back here, boom. That's it, that's it. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you all something. This hole is tight, boys. This has always been one of my honey holes, right? You guys know I've shot multiple episodes over here before here on the Extreme Philly Fishing Channel all the Canadian geese, you got some mallards, sometimes you even have some wood ducks swimming over here because the locals like to feed the waterfowl at this spot, right? Dude, this place is filled with trout, man. I've lost three so far, landed two. I am one away from my limit and the Kage is doing great. It's doing great. So yes, they did stock this creek last week. There is trout over here. Man, you know what? Let me keep casting. Oh, oh, before I go though, additional disclaimer that I already put in this video. I am only treating my trout the ways you guys see in this video because I am killing them and taking them home to eat, right? If you want to see how EPF handles wild slash native trout, Refer to that Spokane video that I shot a while back with the net, right handling in the water, wet hands, and everything, okay? But for now, it's dinner time, boy. Let's go catch one more and hit our limit. I think after all that action, things have slowed down over here a little bit. So I think it is time to start heading downstream to pursue my limit. Uh, my last one of the day, yeah? I mean, four missed, right? <laughs> you know, there's only so much, as I always tell you guys, that you can fit in one little hole like this, right? So you know what? Yeah, it is time to, to go and uh, hit some new holes downstream. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hit one of my wet honey holes. I like this particular spot casting to the other side around that margin because there's no way of doing so for the folks who do it from the bank. You kind of need to wait it out, right, to cast all the way over there. There were three power bait anglers fishing around this area, so I mean, I kind of skipped the hole over there and I'm going to skip the hole down there too, right, because I think fishing pressure is already pretty high. So hopefully this particular place is going to produce me some fish or at least my last one of the day mm -hmm. right, anything at all 
Oh my goodness, it's not a trout. <laughs> Gee, dude, it's a red breast sunfish, isn't it? Yeah, boy, second species of the day. Little Lepomis auritus, huh? Beautiful sample, too. One of the native species of the Pennypack Creek, right? Very different than the invasive trout. I have caught so many different species of fish from the Pennypack Creek, some of them quite unexpected. This little red breast sunfish is a beautiful reminder, right? That the trout are not the only beautiful creatures in this particular creek. You see, they classify the Pennypack Creek as a trout approved water here in Philadelphia County. And what that means pretty much is that they get to stock trout over here, right? Which is sadly very bad for the native species of fish in this creek. Over the last nine years, as a matter of fact, I can tell you all that the numbers when it comes to native species have kind of dwindled in this particular creek. And that's because year after year, you have this culture of catch and take for the trout fishery. And those anglers come to this creek, right? And sometimes, you know, they catch a little small mouth bass, the Micropterus dolomiel, or a little large mouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, and they end up taking those fish home, right? The red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus that you guys just saw, and the rock bass, the Amblopletus rupestris, none of those escape the wrath of the catch and take folks. So, yeah, it has its pros and cons, you know, having a body of water around you that it gets stocked with trout. All right, I'm gonna give a few more casts over here this particular spot, and then if nothing, I'm gonna hop to the next one. Oh, that's a trout. There we go, fish on. Fish on, boy. Last one of the day if I can land it. Three trout came from under that trunk, boy. And this is a fatty. I can tell you, this is a fatty, boy. Very nice. Wow, three trout stacked up under that trunk. Unbelievable. That's why I said this is one of my honey holes that if you are fishing from shore, you can't reach, you have to wade. So unless you get wet, my brother, you can't hit this hole, not this hole. I'm gonna walk it, and if I lose it, I lose it. No big deal, there's two other ones by that trunk, so. <laughs> Boy, nice size too, man. Oh yeah, man, look at this beauty right here. Holy moly, biggest one. Biggest one of the day too. I'm shaking a little bit, so pardon the camera. The Kage Ultralight gives you a very good feel for this fish. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I mean, I'm gonna fish some more, but I am pretty much done. Oh yeah, fellas, I'm cleaning my trout over here. I got my limit of three for the fall season, right? Three beautiful rainbow trout, Oncorincus mickeys that my sister and my nephew are going to have for dinner. I think I'm going to fool around a little bit more, do some catch and release, and then we're going to get to the out. <laughs> I've been fishing out here for only about two hours, and I've lost count. I don't know if I landed six or seven rainbow trout, right? Today was a great day here at the Pennypack Creek. There are plenty of trout out there. For you folks to catch but that being said if you're watching this youtube video i don't want you to have the impression that it's like oh you come to the penny pack and you're going to land the trout left or right i've been fishing this particular creek for the past nine years right so when i come to this creek i already know where the honey holes are at year after year of the pennsylvania fish and boat commission stocking this creek i already know where those fish are going to be or at least i have a general idea more so i know which holes the public usually doesn't hit which is why in this video today as you guys saw i didn't even go to the fishing spots right like the dam area the bridge area where everyone just congregates especially because covid19 
is it still going on too, right? So this is the disclaimer for you guys at the end of the video. Now let's talk a little bit about the Kage, right? The Kage. The Kage did great today. I think for $200, you know, I can kind of vouch, not 100% certainty yet, but this is indeed a very good rod, okay? Some of the trout that we handled today were actually, you know, pretty nice size, right? Even for stocked trout. So overall, I am satisfied. I may bring a few more videos here on the YouTube channel, uh, pending further review, right, when it comes to this fishing rod. And to finish this video, I just wanted to show you guys, okay? Look at my EP series inline spinner, okay? Just look at it. The thing is bent, man. You know, that's how you know the trout are fighting good. The thing is not even, yo, this thing is at a 30 degrees angle, all right? So yeah, I'm calling it. Uh, this is it for today, fellas. Back in the days, we used to have two creeks here in Philadelphia County is stocked with trout, right? We used to have the Penny Pack and the Wissahickon Creek. Fishing pressure during the fall was still very, very high, but at least some people would go to the Wissahickon around East Falls, and some people would come here to Northeast Philadelphia. A few years back, for some reason, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission kind of cut the Wissahickon out of it. So nowadays, for Philadelphia County, we only really have this one creek that is stocked with trout. The message here is, if you come to this place, yes, the fishing pressure is going to be high. There, there are going to be a lot of people fishing here because there is no other trout-approved water in Philadelphia County that they stock during the fall, okay? This is just for you guys to know, all right? And be respectful of the wildlife too, all right? Don't forget that the limit for the fall is three fish a day, not five, all right? Please don't poach out of ignorance. I got my three for the day that is plenty for the family. If I want more, I will come back tomorrow and catch a few more, right? If you know the honey holes, the tight holes, you will catch me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something from it, okay? I know that not a lot of you are big fans, right, of stock trout fishing. Uh, I'm going to end my ramblings over here. Tight lines, fellas. I will see you all next time. to the left of this tree. Oh my goodness, I knew it. Left of the tree, boy. I knew it. Kage! All right, people think I'm crazy now. People who are passing the trail, but this ultralight is awesome. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Beautiful sample too. Man, this trout are fat, bro. This trout are fat, dude. I got my limit already, but this trout is fat, bro. Why didn't you show up early for me, huh? I have to release you now, because I can't take four. But damn, bro. Holy mackerel. Oh, okay, dude. Okay, this is when having a net really kind of helps. But, all right. Damn, what a fat trout. My man, I just did some surgery on this trout. But look how chunky this guy is, huh? I just wanted to show you guys, man. This one is a... Uh, is a chunk okay look at the size and how chunky this trout is got my limit already can't really take it so you're free to go my dude you are lucky you are a lucky fella okay kage performing well today what a beautiful fish man i knew it if i cast to the left of the street there would be another one. Oh my goodness, yo, bro. Holy moly, dude. That's it. That's it. That's, that's my honey hole producing right here, dude. That's my honey hole producing. Damn, bro. Oh, had another trout hit it. Mm, fish on, boy. Fish on, boy. Came back second time. I do not need to whisper no more. Got my limit. Having a blast here in the creek, nobody around. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, dude. Penny pack, full mode right here. Yeah, man. Remember that video I shot in Tennessee, you all? When I went to, to Chattanooga? I mean, not Chattanooga. 
in Murfreesboro. I told you all, you gotta get away from the parking lots, right? This is exactly what I did today in this video. You get away from the spots that are highly pressured by the majority of folks out there and you will find the nice fish. My only mistake today was underestimating the stockings so I didn't bring a net. If I knew, man, that I would be landing fish left and right, I would catch my limit, and on top of that, I still land some extra fish, I would have brought my Cortland net, you know what I'm saying? Because it's much easier to unhook this fallow like that. Whew. Hell yeah, my dude, here, you're good to go. You see that? You're, you're good to go, man. Never left the water. Wow, look at that, and even if it is just stocked, what a majestic fish. Stocked, wild, native man. I'm a life lister. I'm a multi-species angler. I catch them all, boy. I catch them all. All right, all the way back there. Good. Let's see. Fish on. Oh yeah, boy. Saw that one coming. All the way from the tree. That's what's up. Even if this was a spring, I would have hit my five limit already. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there, buddy. All right, there we go. All right, you get to go, my man. Beautiful, very nice. Oh, one's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Mm, fish on, mm, fish on, boy. Man, Kage is definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that's a good rod, man. I'm ready to call it. I could be fooling around here the whole day. I think I will, but I think it's time to do the outro after I'm hooking this fish. This is another fat one, man. They stock good quality fish for the fall here in the creek. Look at the size on this one here. Not bad, not bad at all. I feel like Tyler, <laughs> fish hawk. 